Hello everyone, this is Rick. I wanted to make a video showing you how to repair one of these LED light arrays. If you're doing any photo bleaching or comic books, you may have a big LED light, LED light bulb, but if you have one of my Mackie lights, you probably have one of these aluminum LED arrays. This one's 435 nanometers, which is by far the most common. I think there's like 700 of these sets out there, 700 pairs, so like 1400 lights. If one of these LEDs goes out, and since they're in series, the whole thing doesn't work. Uh, instead of having to, I do sell replacement lights individually, but instead of having to replace it, you can repair it. I've repaired several for people, but it's also pretty easy to do yourself if you have the right equipment. Uh, the video following this introduction will demonstrate how to do that with some narration, and I have links to where you can get all your, all the parts, their affiliate links on Amazon. So you can buy stuff and repair them on your own. You can test and repair to get them working again because uh, LEDs do last a long time, but they do not last forever. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Here's a quick look at my workstation overall. Here's the soldering iron that I'm using. It's a well, I use the Weller brand. Here's the flux and the solder that I'm using. Here's my multimeter. You know, it has a diode selection, uh, diode testing area selection. These are the LEDs, which you can get on my website. And this is a working panel. So you can see what it looks like when we're all done. Finding the bad LED. First thing we need to do is I'd say that we have for sure a broken one here with one bad LED on it. It's not lighting up. Then we turn it over to the diode selector here, the diode test, it, it puts five volts across these two leads. It can be backwards, these are unidirectional, so we can test it both directions. So the first thing we're gonna do is apply these leads across the terminals of the LED, and it should light up one direction, this, this time with the negative electron on the right, and the other way it won't. So if it doesn't work one way, try it the other way. And then we just run down the whole thing and we test every LED seeing if they light up or not. I'm speeding up the clip here, so this isn't real pace, but you can see us testing. This is Austin Aldrich, is a colleague of mine testing these. And you can see us going around each and every one wondering, okay, which one is bad? And they all seem to be working, so we're getting a little nervous here. But all of them are lighting up. It, it does help. Sometimes these aren't very bright, so it does help to dim the lights a little bit. And if it's if the panel's not coming on at all, 100% of the time so far, unless you've seen like a spark or something jump or you've done something wrong, it's a bad LED. I think there's it's 99% of the time. And which one is it? Up, oh, I think we found the culprit. Is it this one? Hmm. Yep. Try the next one. Yep. So it's, the, it's almost the very last one. That's the offending one right there. Now we're going to remove the bad LED. I always mark it just in case it gets turned around or I get lost somehow. You'd be surprised at how many times I forget which one was the bad one, especially if I have several lined up. Got the soldering iron warmed up. And we are going to, I have a pair of pliers here, just to give us a little bit of purchase. Now these things are glued down. There's a little bit of a thermal paste and a little sticker. So you kind of have to wiggle them to sort of break them off. You get it, get the solder warm. Instead of the pliers, it can sometimes help to have something to pry up on these little legs with. So you don't want to break the whole thing. So I just use a tiny screwdriver here and you can just separate that pin and then go to the other side. The pliers would have worked too, but I was afraid to crush the actual LED. It doesn't really matter. It's a bad one anyway, but it was blocking the view of the camera as well. So, and there we go. We'll break this off of here. And we need to clean up this pad. There's some thermal paste and a sticker. I guess you don't technically have to do it, but I chose to do it and then rub it down with a little bit of alcohol. And of course, scratch the panel while I'm at it. But we go and take this sticker off there just so I can get a good purchase again. And if you happen to have some thermal paste, you can put a little spot here. It doesn't get all that hot, so it's not that necessary, but it can help a little bit. So after this, I rubbed it with isopropanol. Installing the new LED. So when you're installing an LED, the big thing is to make sure it's facing the right direction. So we're testing it here. So, all right, the black parts on the right, and we're going to go over and check the board and make sure 
the same orientation, you'd be surprised at how easy it is to get this backwards. So we're going to bring this over here to the to the light array, but we're going to first put a little bit of flux on these pins. We're going to use the same solder that's already there, since there's already some we don't really need to add more. I have a roll of solder just in case you have to add it, but in this particular one we left so much behind we didn't need it. And then we are going to hold it with the pliers and then solder. We sort of hold it, you have to hold it for a few seconds when you're done just to make sure you know it doesn't move for about four or five seconds and then you go to kind of touch it again to get a little bit of stress relief there once it's held into place and let the solder sort of reflow. Here we go, it's up sort of up at an angle there. And then we'll do the other side. We'll press it down. We'll be, we'll be bending this. There, we'll let it sit. And then it's going to be under some stress and tension, so we're just going to touch them again just to relax the stress in that joint there, that first one, because we bent it and we know that it's under stress. And then we're going to, to test it. So we bring it over to our Immaculite, plug it into the driver, and then we turn it on. Video and, and I'll close my eyes. Go. See if it comes on. Yep, everything's working just I'll fine. Show that it works. It's a couple seconds okay. and off. So that's it, folks. It's everything you need to know to fix your own LED array of lights and get your comic books flow to bleaching again if that's what you're into. If you're not, then I'm very shocked that you watched this much of the video. All right, take care. See you later.